Hello, and welcome back to our history channel. Yesterday's World. In this video, we will be diving into the fascinating story of India, China border issue. Don't forget to comment about your views on the same. Once upon a time, in the vast and rugged terrain of the Himalayas, lay a disputed border between two of the world's most populous nations, China and India. This border had been a source of conflict and tension for many years, with both sides claiming the territory as their own. To understand the roots of this conflict, we must travel back in time to the early 20th century, when the British Empire controlled much of India and parts of China. In 1914, the British colonial government drew a line on the map known as the McMahon Line, which demarcated the border between British India and Tibet. The Chinese government, however, did not recognize the McMahon Line, claimed sovereignty over the entire region. Fast forward to 1947, when India gained independence from British colonial rule. The new Indian government inherited the border dispute with China, but negotiations failed to resolve the issue. In 1962, tensions boiled over into a full-scale war between the two nations. China emerged victorious, seizing control of a large portion of the disputed territory. After the war, both sides attempted to negotiate a resolution to the conflict, but progress was slow. The Chinese government continued to claim sovereignty over the disputed territory. While the Indian government asserted its own claims, the two nations even went so far as to sign a series of border agreements in the 1990s and 2000s. But disagreements over specific areas of the border persisted. In recent years, the situation has only become more complex. China has undertaken a massive military buildup along the border, including the construction of roads, airfields, and other infrastructure. India, meanwhile, has increased its military presence in the region, including deploying troops to forward positions near the border. The standoff between the two nations came to a head in 2020, when a clash between Indian and Chinese troops in the Galwan Valley resulted in the deaths of 20. Indian soldiers and an undisclosed number of Chinese troops. The incident was a stark reminder of the ongoing tensions and the potential for conflict in the region. So what's driving this conflict? There are many factors at play, including nationalist sentiment, economic interests, and geopolitical positioning. Both China and India see themselves as regional powers, with interests that extend beyond their own borders. China, in particular, views the disputed territory as strategically important, providing a buffer between its western provinces and potential threats from India or other nations. India, meanwhile, sees itself as a defender of its own territorial integrity and sovereignty. But the conflict also has its roots in domestic politics. In China, nationalism has become a powerful force in recent years, with the government stoking popular sentiment to bolster its own legitimacy. In India, too, nationalism has become a key issue, with the ruling party promoting a vision of India as a Hindu majority state that stands up to its perceived enemies. So where do we go from here? It's a complicated question with no easy answers. Diplomatic negotiations have failed to resolve the conflict, and both sides remain deeply entrenched in their positions. Military de-escalation is a possibility but it would require both sides to make significant concessions. Ultimately, the resolution of the China-India border dispute will require a recognition of the legitimate concerns and interests of both nations. It will require a willingness to compromise, to find common ground, and to put the interests of peace and stability above all else. Until then, the disputed border will remain a flashpoint for conflict and tension in the region. The situation is not entirely hopeless, However, there have been glimmers of hope in recent years, with both China and India expressing a willingness to engage in dialogue and pursue a peaceful resolution to the conflict. One potential path forward is greater cooperation between China and India on issues of mutual interest, such as trade, economic development, and climate change. By finding common ground in these areas, the two nations may be able to build trust and reduce tensions along the border. Another possibility is the involvement of other nations or international organizations in the resolution process. The United Nations has played a role in past negotiations between China and India, 
and other nations such as the United States have expressed interest in helping to mediate the conflict. Regardless of the path forward, one thing is clear, the China-India border dispute is a complex and long-standing issue that will not be resolved overnight. It will require patience, persistence, and a commitment to peaceful dialogue and compromise on the part of both nations. As we bring our story to a close, it's worth reflecting on the broader implications of the conflict. The disputed border between China and India is not just a local issue, it has implications for regional and even global stability. As two of the world's most populous nations and rising economic powers, China and India have the potential to shape the course of the 21st century. How they manage their differences and resolve this conflict will have far-reaching consequences for the rest of the world. In the end, the resolution of the China-India border dispute will require a recognition of the humanity and dignity of all people involved. It will require a willingness to listen to different perspectives, to find common ground, and to pursue a peaceful and just resolution to the conflict. If we can achieve that, then there is hope for a brighter future, not just for China and India, but for all of us. It's important to remember that conflicts like the China-India border dispute are not inevitable. They arise from a complex web of historical, political, economic, and social factors. And they can be resolved through dialogue, negotiation, and compromise. Ultimately, the resolution of the China-India border dispute will require a recognition of the interconnectedness of our world. We are all part of a global community, and our actions have consequences that extend far beyond our own borders. By recognizing our shared humanity and working together to address common challenges, we can build a more just and peaceful world. As we conclude our story, it's worth reflecting on the words of Mahatma Gandhi, who once said, An eye for an eye will only make the whole world blind. The China-India border dispute is not just about territory, it's about the future of our world. Let us work together to build a future that is marked by cooperation, compassion, and peace. We hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating figure from history. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on our History Channel Yesterday's World.